constant walker, jogging, or cycling for years, will all that cardio really make a difference? Researchers followed more than 230,000 men and women for up to 30 years. They watched how much physical activity they did and how long. And then they saw which one of them developed cancers, especially from the digestive or gastrointestinal tract. So that's mouth, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, also called the colon, the liver, and the pancreas. They measured their physical activity in terms of METs, which are the equivalent of a unit for how hard and intense the exercise is. And they found that the sweet spot is around 17 MET hours per week, which is five hours of risk walking or two hours of running each week. They found that doing that over decades reduced digestive cancer risk by about 17% and died from it by about 28% if you were very active. The benefit plateaued at around 50 MET hours per week. But here's a real kicker. If you stick with a moderate level of activity per week consistently over years, you get almost the same benefit as doing a lot more hours. In other words, there wasn't much more benefit from doing more exercise. Pick an activity you can stick with. Brisk walking, jogging, cycling, swimming, whatever works for you. And then try to do that at around four to five hours per week, which is around 40 to 45 minutes every day, seven days a week. Make it a habit. Try to aim for long-term practice. If you like this content, give me a thumbs up. I'm here to make the medicine make sense.